Yo, what's going on guys? Look Fresh Wizard here, broadcasting live from my new apartment at the Quad. Um, I'm going to give you guys just a small tour, kind of an update about what's been going on here. Uh, I'm moving in with two other roommates. They're pretty nice guys. All that stuff, and um, we just need to get some more posters, a futon, and a TV in here. That'd be pretty cool. I also wanted to briefly talk about uh, UFC 115. It's over by now. Well, not much else for me to say about it other than the Iceman came, he fought, and he was knocked out in the last five seconds by Rich Ace Franklin. Yeah, um, I mentioned that uh, Franklin would probably end up doing something like that to Liddell in the final couple seconds of the fight, and that's what happened. I wanted Liddell to win, and he looked really good. He broke Rich Franklin's arm with a body kick. Took him down one time, landed several of those jabs, but his um, chin is getting older. It's not quite where it would need to be to hang in with some of the best guys, and uh, I don't think the UFC wants to put Chuck against, you know, some average Joe that he could beat, because Liddell's always been main event or co-main event material for now. So is, he, is Chuck Liddell done? Well, that's not my place to make that decision. Um, it's tough to say because again he just got caught kinda like he did in you know four of the last five times he was knocked out or so but if this is his last fight and chances are it is hell of a run Chuck. Hell of a run. So uh, the other fight that night, uh, most of these of the picks I got wrong uh, like the one against um, Pat Berry and Mirko Krokop. I picked Pat Berry to win, I think most people did, but Krokop won the, that fight by submission, of all things. You know, you'd think he would have won by knockout and stuff, but pretty impressive for him. All that stuff, let's go in here. Uh, so is Mirko, he won that winning submission tonight. Is Mirko back? Maybe he's not back, back, but. Uh, he did look look pretty good, but uh, the fight in the first round went the way that I thought it was going to, with Pat Berry dropping Mirko twice with strikes, but he didn't follow up once he did, not, did knock him down, so those are a few things that maybe he'll want to work on. What's next for him? Uh, maybe make him fight Gilbert Ivel. Gilbert Ivel lost to Ben Rothwell, so I, at least I got that pick right. Hold on. Uh, here's uh, my, this is going to be my room. Let's check it out. Yeah, this room has what is the only one that has one square, like one extra square foot of space than the other two. Uh, that's gonna be uh, Matt's room right there. Let's take a look inside. All right, he's got a couple of music stuff. Yeah, some of this is that is insured by the new insurance policy. They charge you like five dollars a month for it. Uh, we just got the cable box here. This is the living room. Very empty right now. We could rent a washer and dryer. They'd go right here. Here's the kitchen. Pretty standard. Nothing that special. Too bad there's not a window on the oven. That kind of stinks. But hopefully it works for cooking bagel bites and all that stuff. Okay, so it works. Yeah. And the dishwasher, for some reason, it doesn't work right now. At least, to my knowledge, it's not working. I don't know why. But, yeah, something needs to be done about that. The refrigerator is pretty okay. Got some, I guess, food in there. That's not mine. That's Martin's. And Martin's room is over here. Yeah. Oh, the private bathroom. Cool. I'll be looking forward to you guys coming to visit all that stuff. Should be cool. Now, uh, what was one of the other fights? Uh, uh, I got the Evan Dunham fight right with, um, I can't remember, like Efren Escudero. No, Efren Escudero won his match. And, uh, let's see. And, yeah. Ports is nice too. It's bigger than the Village Green one. Rent costs more, but we've got, you know, a big 
mutual payment plan that gets up all the where you have to just pay one check per month it's about 400 or something but that's basically what I'm paying right now anyways for the village green so I feel like saying more uh, next UFC 116 I'm really looking forward to it you got uh, Shane Carwin against Brock Lesnar Brock Lesnar is finally returning to the octagon and um uh, that's pretty much it. The uh, and uh, yeah, I'm not saying uh, a lot again. The fight with Carlos Condit in it and Rory McDonald was uh, really something well deserving of fight of the night honors. It may have been stopped a little bit too early in the ending, but it was nice to see it end, of course. <sighs> yeah, like I said, I got a lot of the picks wrong, and I don't know why I was feeling particularly upset about that. But um. Well, you guys know, know what the deal is. I'll post another review for UFC 16 later on. So, MMA and anime, keep up with them, guys. Bye-bye. They make it a great day or else.